and welcome back to another edition of As the Wheel Turns. We are in beautiful, beautiful downtown Burbank. No, once again, I'm not telling the truth. We're not in Burbank. We are in Rapid City, South Dakota. That's where we're at. We got dust. It's a beautiful Saturday. You see, it's 27 miles to Mount Rushmore. I am going to Mount Rushmore. I don't know how long it'll take me to get there because I have a feeling I'm going to be just zigzagging around because this this road is on the map looked like a nice road and i might have to stop and enjoy it so if you don't see mount rushmore in this vlog well you can go over to the other channel and see it there hell I'll, I'll i'll put it as the as the thumbnail so you can see it all right at least you can say you've been to mount, mount rushmore with me can't nobody else say that hey buffalo how you doing There's a whole hell of a lot of motorcyclists out here. Actually, the, the weather report today said 75 degrees. You know 75 degrees is pretty cold when you're on a bike, right? And this morning it was like 60 degrees. So so I was gonna, you know, I got all geared up and ready to go. It was cold, right? Lo and behold, I had an issue and I, and I ain't been able to ride, but it's been five hours. Now it's 3.30 in the afternoon. 3.44, let's keep it correct. All right, and it's 75 degrees, so I had to go back by the truck and get rid of my jacket. And Actually, this long sleeve shirt's a little bit too much, in my opinion. But I kept it, you know, because it might, it might cool off a little bit. You know, Mount Rushmore is apparently a mountain right so it might be colder there but look at that look at that oh ain't that cool that was a cool everybody likes a cool car oh look we got a is this a car show oh yeah yeah let's go slow here it's a car slow oh looky here just y'all just take in the eye candy take in the eye candy i know you'd rather see eye candy with boobs probably but look but look at that just look at that oh you know you like it you know you did. It's a Mustang and Ford custom car show. That's a mule. <laughs> you know it's true. You know, it's got to be a mule. Or a, a hyena. Or no, uh, uh, a pony, maybe. It's a it's my pony pal pokey, too. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But anyway, uh, so I had to get a tire fixed and it took us several hours. They was really good over there at the at the Rice Honda and they hooked it up. Rice Honda, uh, you know, I, I just gave you a plug. If you want to, you could, you know, you know, uh, make my next tire repair free or something. Just saying. Just saying. You might get something out of it. You might not. It's a gamble. Life's a gamble. You learn as you go. Sometimes you lead and sometimes you follow. I see. I'm not the only one who thinks life's a gamble. <laughs> Man, I ain't had a cigarette all day. I could really use a cigarette. What's this guy doing in front of us? Is he like left turn signal Ted or something? From who knows? Well, that's a nice looking. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. I get distracted, you know. I, I don't know where I was at or what I was doing or anything. But I know that 35 miles an hour is not going to do it for me. Oh, while I was over at the Honda dealership taking care of business, 
they were also a Triumph dealership. And I looked at the Triumph Scramblers. I did not like them at all. I didn't like them. But the uh, I looked the bobbers the, the the bobber blacks are very nice. I, I did like them quite a bit. But actually, what's that that street uh, something that the Triumph has? I don't know what it's called. Street something. I think uh, I think I really 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 liked it. I actually I had a Triumph long time ago. Back a long time ago, in the olden days, and uh, but it was, you know, it was. It's not a triumph like nowadays. You know, there's a big difference. Back then, they wasn't ex expensive like they are now. But you do have to give the triumph some. Uh, you got to give it its props. You know, it, it's held its own for all of these years. But I just, I, I still don't know about. I don't know the Ducati. You know, I keep talking about that damn Ducati, don't you? That that that, that those Triumphs, the, the bobber, and the, that street thing, whatever it was, it, it could replace the Ducati in my in my mind in a lot of ways. Look at them. They're they're in a hurry. They're in a hurry. They're 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 seeing the speed limit. Tick tuck your feet in, driver. You look like a duck. You're gonna get them caught on a rock or something and tear tear your foot off. I, people, I don't like people ride like that. I'm always thinking about people, right? And I think if you ride with your feet sticking out like that, you could catch it on something. You know, emergencies happen. So it's just a bad habit to get out of. Tuck them toes in where they belong for safety. Y'all know I don't know anything about motorcycle safety. But I got common sense safety advice for the world. And if you don't like my common sense safety advice, advice, well, you can just, you know, have a good day anyway. Right? I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I gotta slow down apparently. I gotta slow down. Do 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 do. Well, I'm not gonna do. It's going oh, 36 miles an hour. It take me an hour to get to Mount Rushmore at this speed, and and it's just 27 miles. I don't understand it. Oh, here comes the mule. All right, that's what I was waiting on, people. I was waiting on the mule. I don't know what the hell the mule's doing, lollygagging, but that's what the mule's doing. Anyway, there's all kinds of things to do here. Jeff Beard's coming over later and we're going to have a bite to eat, and then then what are we going to do? Uh, we're we're going to go to Rushmore. I might ride back through and come back through Deadwood. Uh, I've, I've got to look up this Hillsboro, you know, hill town or something place. I don't know what's closer. Jeff Beard told me two other places to ride out here. He said, well, he's, everybody, everybody tells you somewhere to ride out here, right? So who knows what's best? It's all a matter of personal opinion. So what you do is you come out here. And you just ride the whole damn thing, right? You just ride the whole damn thing. But I can't stay all day. I'd like to be leaving in the next three, four, five hours at least. Let's get through it. I made it. I made it. Did you see that, guys? I made it. I squeezed it, but I made it. It didn't even turn red on me. Oh, no, you don't want to be over there, little mule. Little mule, little mule. Oh, but what, I, what was I saying? Hey, what's up over there? You ain't got to wave on that side of the road, dude. You're just too far away. Anyway, 
I guess you'd have to ride everything. Let's go pan for gold. No, we're not going to do that. But uh, there's a, the caverns of the hills. What, what's that? I don't know. I think you could spend two days here riding around, enjoying the sights and everything. New Tubing Hill. No, we're not going to go there. But the, everything is very touristy here. And why not? I mean, they might as well capitalize on the fact that they got what they got. I don't know the history of how they got what they got. I, think, I guess I need to look that up. You know, it's some, it's some kind of motorcycle lore I should know. How the history of Sturgis began. One day, long, long ago, in a faraway place, in a land where no one is at, two motorcyclers met and got drunk. They had such a good time <clears throat> playing Brokeback Mountain or whatever that next year they brought four people with them. Oh, now, now four, you know, two, two's date, four's party. I mean, what, right? I mean, you just make that stuff up as you go. The Founding Fathers of Zibbit. All right. I don't know. I better watch what I say. I might get some somebody mad at me that loves the loves this thing out here. I like this area. It's beautiful. But y'all know I'm just totally screwed up because I think everywhere I'm at is beautiful. That's because generally when I wake up in the morning, if I wake up in the morning, the day the day is already at a plus, right? Yay! It's already a good day. It can get worse. It can't get better. That is just the top of the line, the best part of the day when you wake up. Who wants to have fun? Okay, what's this thing over here? Make memories right here. Oh, they got a big ass turtle in there, according to that billboard. You know I would go over there. I've got a thing for them big ass turtles. And little ass turtles. I love turtles. Turtles, turtles, turtles. Terrapins to be specific. Terrapins. Oh, see, I could I could just forsake forsake Mount Rushmore and go to the Gator Crossing and the Dinosaur Museum. That would be cool. You are here. Maybe I'll do that on the way back, guys. Take you into the Dinosaur Crossing. Oh, look, it's Independence Hall or wherever the kids go free. And, you know, all that good stuff. In Independence Hall, I think is what it was. Declaration of Independence, Revolutionary War. It all happened right here, people, in South Dakota. That's where it happened at. Uh, it's my life I get high if I want to I just changed the words to songs people I'm not getting high trust me if I do it's one one whiskey one bourbon and one beer you know that that'll do it Ralph <clears throat> what's it say bears bear country USA one mile ahead to the right See that guy? He, if he's happy on that little bitty bike, I'm happy for him. But he needs a bigger bike. He's done crossed the threshold into hefty mofo, and he's, it's, he needs a cruiser. He needs to come off that sport bike. It's just wrong. Why don't they see it? Just don't see it. All you peoples out there, I'm going to tell you. Remember, everything I say is my opinion. They say, ride what you like, wear what you like, and all that kind of stuff. And I gotta, gotta, gotta agree, right? But I think you gotta ride what fits. Also, it's like you don't put on shoes that don't fit, or you have a bad day. You know? I mean, I was over looking at the Harley Davidsons just for fun. Harley Davidson, thank you, Harley Davidson of Rapid City. They allowed us to park in their back parking lot. And uh, hey, we'll be parking there again. I'll go inside and look at some stuff. Maybe, hell, maybe I'll rent a Harley there next time and <clears throat> take it out for a ride. But I'm not comfortable with them 2,000 pound bikes. I might as well be driving a, a Volkswagen as far as, you know, it's bulky, right? Well, you know what I mean? I can't pick it up. 
I can pick it up if I drop it, but I can't pick it up and move it. Bear country. Apparently you pay to get in. Uh, but anyway, when I see a person that is too damn big for a bike, I worry they're going to fall over. Only because they're sport bikes. If they were sitting in the upright position and too big for a bike, I wouldn't think there was anything wrong with that at all. Because they'd be in a position to step off of that bike if they had to. I know that's not going to work either. It's just wishful thinking for the people. But hey, guess if they're comfortable, comfortable. But please, cover up your ass. Everybody on a damn ninja that weighs 350 pounds on a, is showing their butt. And it's just, it's just, you know, cover it up. I don't know why. You got a naked winery there. I got a naked bike. I'm naked when I go to bed at night. You don't want to picture that. You just don't want to picture it. Turn away. Turn away. Ride the coaster. Rush Mountain Adventure Park. East of the Keystones. I could ride a coaster. Huh. I don't know. They got a red ass rhubarb wine. Ru rhubarb sucks. But I guess you could make wine out of anything. Ooh, I, w I don't even want to think about that. There's some things I would not want to be drinking in my wine. Look, they got all kinds of RV parks and things out here. They're doing so good. I bet they make plenty of money here. Plenty of money. Uh, then the rest of the year they starve to death. Look, it's a John Deere Green Ford chest of the sex molester van. I kind of liked it. What do we got? Christmas Village open year round. They got a woolly mammoth over there. I could get a picture of that woolly mammoth on the way back. What do we got? Fort. Oh, now the temperature's dropping, guys. I feel that it's dropping. Now I'm wishing I had kept that little liner jacket on. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. Where's my phone at? Oh, there it is. All right. I still got it. I'm going to cut you off, people, here. You guys, stay tuned for the next edition of As the Wheel Turns. Me and the little mule will be out here somewhere, driving around. Up hills, down hills, you know, all kinds of stuff, right? So, sh stay tuned, bitches. Doesn't need